secondary hematogenous spread of the tuberculosis sometimes creates so-called uh, miliary pattern of infection or miliary tuberculosis. It is defined as a presence of multiple dispersed, very small foci of granuloma or granulomatous inflammation. It can affect multiple organs in the body. In this slide, we can see an example of miliary tuberculosis of the lung. The small granulomas in this case typically measures, measure less than a few millimeters in diameter. Here we see somewhat emphysematous a pulmonary parenchyma, and here we have multiple granulomas. On the higher magnification, we can see that this granulomatous inflammation is associated with central caseous necrosis. Around the caseous necrosis, uh, uh, we recognize multiple epithelioid cells, which are transformed macrophages. All of these cells, those are epithelioid cells. And we can also find a few multinucleated giant cells with multiple nuclei typically localized in the one pole of the cytoplasm. These cells are also called Langhans cells. In between the epithelioid cells, uh, we have multiple lymphocytes. We can use uh, multiple special stains uh, for visualization of the mycobacterium bacillus inside of the granuloma. So this is uh, the miliary pattern of the tuberculosis or miliary tuberculosis caused by secondary hematogenous spread of the infection. Thanks for watching.